Hello. Happy Tuesday. It's the 5th. I'm going to read this one. Um, I was reading the story though. Um, he, he has just one verse. Um, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Luke 5, 8. And just to say a little bit of what the story is, it's um, where he calls the fishermen to be, well, some of them were fishermen. They were different men, the, his disciples, his 12 disciples. But when he calls Peter, he got into the boat with Peter and He said, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Peter said, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat and to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. And when Peter... Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. And he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And uh, James and John, they were also fishermen. And Jesus said to, to Simon Peter, do not be afraid. From now on, you will catch men. So, and this is interesting. I decided to read this because it's about guilt and shame. Um, in 1839, Dr. Thomas Burgess, a member of the British Royal College of Surgeons, wrote these words. We can make an individual laugh against his will by tickling the soles of his feet. We can make him cry by corporal punishment. We can make him tremble with fear by the same means. We can rouse his anger by striking him. We can only make him blush by appealing to his conscience. No physical means can produce blushing. It must be solely a moral stimulus that will excite a true blush. We sometimes hear that we need to get rid of our hangups, our guilt, we hear that guilt and shame are wrong and destructive. That is not entirely true. Only false guilt arising from mistaken and misplaced judgment is wrong. Only imposed shame and coercive put-downs that are unjust and unfair are destructive. True guilt and honest shame are essential to our moral fiber. <clears throat> guilt is a measurement of wrongdoing and failure. Shame is what we feel when we know we are judged guilty correctly. Guilt tells us we were wrong. Shame is what makes us blush by appealing to our conscience. Without an accurate evaluation of our guilty deeds and without an appropriate sense of shame, we cannot take the fourth step. O oh, loving Lord, may I realize that my guilt, realize my guilt and feel my shame so that I may amend my life through your healing forgiveness. Amen. And the fourth step again, I will go to the front of the book. And the fourth step is make a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Um, yeah, oftentimes, um, a, a toxic person will pair up with someone who has a sensitive conscience like that, and they're able to control them by guilt tripping them. And, um, 
my ex actually did this for years and um, unfortunately some people still try to do that to me but um, fortunately <laughs> I really don't fall for it very easily I really um, like recognize it very quickly now um, just don't and that that is very freeing but there is a good sense of um you know guilt and shame because on the other end the reason um uh narcissists and toxic people um can do things so much and I'm like not saying like all of them but a lot of them um, a lot of bad people and toxic people narcissists whatever um, their consciences are seared so they don't they don't care they don't feel the same thing as a normal person would feel like like I'm very sensitive about lying I don't I don't um, I try not to lie even like, you know, I'd rather like not tell someone the whole truth or, but I feel very badly when I lie. I feel very badly when I hold back information even, you know, and um, other people I know, my ex was like that. No problem with it. No problem with it at all. Like, um, like when someone would, um, of course, you, they, they say something when someone overcharges them or charges them too much, but like, if somebody gives them something and they didn't pay for it, you know, I would take that thing back to the store. One time I was at, um, what was the name of that store? It was, it was back in Georgia. Um, it wasn't Ross. It was, I can't think of the name of the store, but it was a, uh, I remember the dress. It was a Vera Wang dress. Um, what is the name of that store? It's a really nice, uh, it's a nice clothing store, but they're not, they're not like too expensive. Um, anyways, I was thinking of getting this dress and I decided not to get it. And she was going to put it back and she gave me the dress. <laughs> um, no, no, wait, that wasn't it. She was putting... No, I did get the, I got the dress, but she didn't charge me for the dress. And it was like, it was like a 75 or $80 dress. And, um, uh, it was, a, it was a beautiful dress. Um, it was black and purple E and I wore it to my, my, my brother-in-law's wedding with some black boots it's really nice but yeah she gave me the dress for free and I went back and paid for it and I felt this is how bad my conscience was I was like I don't want her to get fired I'm like that was my dilemma I was like oh my gosh she's gonna get in fire fired she's gonna get in trouble she's gonna get some something but and what she did um what happened was she was putting the nice plastic over the dress and everything and that's what she was doing and she didn't ring it up so but i went back and um and people that you know wouldn't have a conscience would be like oh yeah i got a, I got a, <laughs> you know joyce meyer would say oh the lord blessed me <laughs> like uh sometime one time um joyce meyer tells the story of someone putting in something that she didn't pay for too like the like the sh the purse that went with her shoes or something like that and um so anyways uh yeah i do um i do have sensitive conscience and people realize that and then people try to take advantage of that and like try to um guilt trip you but that that doesn't work and they try to say oh you said that because blah 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 <laughs> you're avoiding me and um 
uh, yeah, I got into that sort of conversation the other day. But I was like, no, that's not why I was doing that. Uh-uh, not at all. But anyways, it's nice to... Um, It's good to have a conscience. Um, it's nice and freeing to not have that overactive conscience anymore and just feel guilty um, all the time for stuff you shouldn't feel guilty for. And um, I suppose that's another reason why my little journey away from um, my strict, strict rules. Cause I had strict, strict rules, you guys. <laughs> I really did. Um, and they were, they were too strict. And so like, I, pff, I went over here. <laughs> like, here. <laughs> like, I talked about the pendulum before, but I don't think a lot of people really got that analogy I was talking about, but um, I was just like, I was, I was very strict to the point of being legalistic. <laughs> I was legalistic. And so um, my, my conscience was so overactive. Um, like Joyce Meyer explains it. I, I so relate to Joyce Meyer um, really a lot. My story isn't, isn't really similar to hers because um, she has a really um, horrific. She had a really pretty horrific childhood. But um, I relate to a lot of the things that she said. And, um, you know, I wasn't um, sexually abused as a child. I was almost sexually abused as a child, though, actually. Because um, I feel like my best, my best friend was in California. Um, but just being so close to that and I feel like I almost was sa saved from that because we moved to Florida when I was 12. Um, cause I feel like, um, her, um, I was a target. <laughs> I feel like I was going to be, he was like grooming me to be next. And so I kind of got saved from that. But anyways, um, so Joyce Meyer says, um, like she didn't feel right unless she felt wrong. She felt guilty about everything. And it's like, it's just, it's just very freeing when you finally get free of that. You know, and it's just like, um, cause when you're used to being, uh, guilted about everything and then you do things out of, you just feel horrible all the time. Um, so, um, and I didn't realize this about my, um, childhood friend until, um, until much later until like after the fact you know until I grew up and I was just like I think that's what was going on and things that were like weird like that was not quite right and what was up with that and and then I was like when I got older I was like oh my goodness that's what was up with that um Yeah. Wow. Serious topic today that I didn't even mean to go into. But, um, sort of just let the spirit take me. <laughs> Whatever. Turn on the camera. Go. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope this blesses you and you know, maybe it'll be helpful to anybody who's been through a similar situation to me. 
Um, I will probably, you know what I'll probably do? Is I will link below a Joyce Meyer video that will accompany this. I know she probably has one that's very good. So that's all for today. Love you. Bye. Mwah.